we're filming the Bozell or Scissor Bozell. This is a Bozell substitute. It has scissor action in the cheek. It has a solid metal nose wrapped, but really not useful. And then it's got your leather connectors. Um, this was made as a substitute for actual Bozell work. As you can see, it hangs from the bridle pretty wonky. Um, it's, it's heavy. This nose band looks extremely heavy, completely inflexible. There's no movement to it. Um, the rear part is also very heavy. So we're going to pause a second while I get this mounted on Herschel, and then we'll see what the action is. Now we have the Vozelle mounted on the horse. It should sit right at the bridge of the nose. Along here, your molars would be right under here. And then it's going to be up off of the chin. Now, unlike a regular Bozell that will form fit around the bridge of the nose, you can see there's quite a gap here on both sides at all times. So this thing really does just sit right on this bone right at the front. It's too much shadow. There's, um, there's not a lot covering these bones on the horse, so the pressure downward onto the bone and onto this suture that runs up the front of the horse's skull inside is going to be pretty extreme. If you get down in here, you're going to start getting into the cartilage and this is where the sinus bone literally starts to thin and come to a point. Now this, the um, jaw piece is going to sit right here. This is again very thin skin area, lots of veins and nerves right at the top there. And then at rest, it's going to kind of pop down onto the, the lips and the meaty part of the chin. So when we rein with this, this is a direct rein bridle. If I'm pulling him to the left on a regular Bozell, the horse would bend with me because that's what the Bozell would tell him to do. But if I pull to the left on this, as you can see, the bit actually rotates this way and digs into his face over here, and it puts this chin piece up against the jaw. Now, this is telling him to come this way, but this is telling him to bend his head away from that pressure. So instead of bending his nose into the left turn, he's actually going to bend his face away from it to avoid this thing just cracking him right there in the molars. When I reverse the turn and pull this way, same thing happens. It, it drives this into the mouth, the side of the mouth here, and it, it puts this into the jaw. You can see the gap that opens up here, which on a regular Bozell it wouldn't. So this thing actually tells the horse exactly what you don't want. What I suspect people invented this for is a stop. Because if you pull back, both of those things crack into the jaw pretty hard. And a horse is going to back away. It's, it's going to ask him to push his nose down. Because you can see that the, the headpiece slides a little bit. There's nothing supporting it. And then this is going to tell him to just arch and break at the pull to avoid these things coming in. So I would consider this more of a stopping bridle than a turning bridle. It is not a finesse bridle at all. Everything about this is very abrupt, very bulky, very hard. There's no yield to it. So I wouldn't recommend this if you want to create a horse that's actually really soft and respectful and that would trust you not to hurt him.